Now, Kelly, can you give us a bit of a background on your business? Uh, what do you do and uh, how do you do it? Why do you do it? Yeah, sure. I suppose I'll give you a little bit of more background of how I got started where I am today. I was um, finished university and was helping out a friend who owned a fitness club and he said, oh, you know, I'm quite busy at the moment, would you mind coming to help me? I said, yeah, absolutely, I'll come and answer your phones and do whatever you, else you want me to do. So I went and did that and that night he happened to be doing a, quite a lot of promotion with regards to getting new people into his gym and he said, look, I'm really flat out, do you mind if you actually take someone through the sales process and convert them onto a membership? And I said, mm -hmm. okay, what do I need to do? And he goes, well, here are the prices, just... Have a, ask them a few questions, how they're going and what they want to achieve and take them for a gym tour. I went, oh, okay, so that should be easy. So I did that yeah. without any skills whatsoever. And I ended up converting these people into you know, a 12-month membership. And he was right. like, wow, that's pretty impressive. And I went, oh, he goes, look, what did you do? And I went, oh, I don't just chat it to them. And he goes, okay, yeah. it must have been a bloke. And at that time, I thought it was. But I did another three or four that night, and the same thing happened. I converted all those people onto a membership. And he said, well, it seems that you've got quite a good knack for relating to people and building rapport. Um, would you mind coming on as a membership salesperson? So I actually did that as a full-time position. And the number one thing as I look back now is you know, really building rapport with these people and actually caring about what they wanted to achieve. So from there, I then got the business bug and wanted to learn a lot more about fitness as well as business. Because when I yeah. didn't get that business bug, it's just you can't stop. So I opened my own yes. business um, in a rural town called Toowoomba and that went really well and then I ended up moving to the Gold Coast for a bit of a sea change um, and did right. the same thing there. I opened a really large group fitness program that was hugely successful and then mm -hmm. I was actually asked to come and teach fitness for a local college and from there when I was teaching the, the personal trainers to become personal trainers, what I was realising was that they were going out into the industry and they just didn't have those business skills that they needed. Yes, they were sure. great personal trainers. However, they lacked the sales, they lacked the marketing, they lacked how to run a business. So yes. that's where I um, started my business today, PT Success, and um, yep. I help um, personal trainers and gyms and personal training studios with the marketing and the sales and just get their business on the right track. And you know, the biggest thing for them is cash flow. So yeah, just helping yes. them because we all go into business to, to live a great lifestyle. Um, yes. And just help them do that. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, where are you located, um, Kelly? I'm actually in the Sunshine Coast now. <laughs> right. Okay. So you moved. You, you moved. You've almost done the whole triangle. So. I have. That's yeah, good, yeah. Yeah. So this is really interesting. So you train PTs to run a business, not to become Correct. PTs, which yes. is uh, uh, and uh, and you know what? It is so true, isn't it? I mean, you see people pick up a certain trade, and I mean. I'll call uh, personal training a trade, if you were to say, um, like you know, being a carpenter or a sparky or anything like that. But they don't know the, you know, they're good at their what they do, but they're not great at running a business, which actually Correct. incorporates sales and marketing, which is so so important. Um, Absolutely. Now, I love the fact that you gave us a bit of a background story. And you know what I really love hearing in your voice is that you've got this real. Um, Real enthusiasm for what you do, which is just it's absolutely brilliant. And uh, but thank you for being so humble and honest about how you started. And now tell me, the, the sales bug when you you know you did a that wasn't by accident that you made those sales, right? So you yeah. learned that. How have you refined that process over the years? So I th I think the biggest thing with it when it comes to sales is that. You have to build rapport with your the person in front of you because if you don't have that one, they're not going to be honest. But you've got to remember that people buy from people that they like and they trust. And if they don't trust you to help them achieve their health and fitness goals, then you know they're going to do two things: one, they're either going to go home and not do anything about it, or two, they're going to go to somewhere else, someone else. 